to learn math page for section 4.5 on slope. If you have forgotten, they tell you what the slope of a line is. Number one, reading the lesson. Determine whether each statement is true or false. If the statement is false, replace the underlined word or words to make the statement true. The slope of a vertical line is zero. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. We gotta change this word though. What is the slope of a vertical line? It's undefined. Remember, it's a number over zero. You can't divide by zero. B, two lines that are not vertical are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one. We use the term opposite reciprocals, but if you look back in your notes, the product of opposite reciprocals is negative one. This is a true statement. Part C. Any two distinct vertical lines are parallel. Distinct just means different. So let's say we have two different vertical lines. Are they parallel? Definitely. The slope of a horizontal line is undefined. No, nope, that's your vertical line. So it's not horizontal. Vertical lines have undefined slope. Number three, I'm sorry, number two, find the slope of a line passing through the given points. Explain the method you use to find the slope. Well, it's totally up to you whether you count or whether you use the formula. If they aren't graphed, typically I use the formula. I subtract and divide. If you wanted to plot these and count, you could. Your slope is a fraction. You're going to subtract the y's, subtract the x's in the same order. Our y values are negative 5 and negative 3. We're subtracting those. A lot of times it helps if you put your, your subtraction signs in before you start. That way you're not confusing yourself with a, a subtraction and a negative. We're going to subtract the x's in the same order, 4 minus 2. Negative 5 minus negative 3. That's the same thing as negative 5 plus 3. 4 minus 2 is positive 2. Make sure you reduce that. 1 over 1 is what the fraction reduces to. This negative could be on top or down below. It does not matter where. Describe two different formulas or methods you could use to find the slope of a line on a coordinate plane. You could count, you could use a formula. I didn't really describe, I just listed the two. You can describe them 